For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Dexter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. This is how it happened. You cannot hide from me, boy! Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Anybody press all the buttons? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! Okay, I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever, touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Nominal and unchanged. Well, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I bumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with the final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Or, uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on.
Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jack and Daxter HD Collection Let's Play. And now we're finally here on Jack 2. And it's the Let's Play you guys have been waiting for. I've been waiting for it, you guys have been waiting for it. But right off the back, what you want to do is jump up here. And we're going to be collecting all the Precursor Orbs in this game. So head over here, and this is the first Precursor Orb right here. Really easy to miss, and... There are 286 Precursor Orbs in this game, guys. And to get the Platinum, you need to get all 286. I know the developers are assholes, but... Uh, Head over here, and in this area, this is called the fortress, and there are eight precursor orbs hidden throughout this place. And I used to think you can't come back to this place after you beat this place, but you can actually head back here after you um do a couple more missions. But right here, we're gonna try to escape. And now Jack is a complete beast. This is two years into the future, and Jack looks like a Super Saiyan three. He's he's with Jack Daxter now, and um. The way you can find out what Daxter was doing in those two years is to play the game Daxter for the PSP. I played that game, I loved it. One of the favorite games I ever had on the PSP. First game I ever got on the PSP. But uh, I'm gonna head over here. And the reason why this is a lot of people's favorite game is because the amount of uh, diversity in this game, the amount of action in this game is unmeasured by anything else. And one of my favorite games of all time in my childhood, but right here, we got the Crimson Guards. Now this is one of the first enemies and the most common enemies you're gonna meet in this game. And they're usually equipped with rifles or a stun, um, like a stun, a taser type rod. And uh, they're not really that deadly. You can kill them out with uh, two shots with a gun or you can punch them twice it's really easy maybe even uppercut them and finish them off in one hit but you're gonna see later on when they start to build up and there's like multiple enemies attacking you it's gonna get pretty hectic now they changed this health system and they call them pips now so you have eight pips and before you only had about four if you counted all the green eco and jack one now that means that this game has gotten a lot harder they really stepped up the bar here and with a lot of new characters and everything, they made a lot of new enemies, and it's really hard in this game. So, uh, you're gonna see here in a second. Now, which one is jump down here? I know it's telling you to roll across the place, so it's a fake bottom, and, um, you'll survive if you drop down here. It's really cool how they try to trick you, and if you're a noob and you fell down here like me, uh, you'll find it. So, let's head across here now, and... I really like this game, guys. One of my favorite games of all time. It beats any first-person shooter. Any game that's been graphically updated right now, it's the best game out there. But right here, these guys, these guards are going to be shooting you through the floor. And what you want is head behind this computer manual panel thing. And um, grab this one. Five orbs already, guys. Now, when you grab orbs, you're going to um, unlock secrets along the way. And I think there's another orb right here. Uh, I think it's behind this one. No? I just want to... Where is it? Oh, okay, yeah, there um, there are secrets you can unlock. Whether it's unlimited ammo, unlimited powers, I won't mention what they are right now. But um, hero mode, it's a more difficult mode where you get more gems and stuff. It's really cool. But uh, here's another two guards. Let's kick these guys' asses and uh, take these guys out. And we're gonna head over here. Now, I'm going to be drawing up an interface for you guys, so you guys might be seeing that in this let's play. It's drawn 100% by me. Um, I seen a couple of like drafts of it on the internet but i built it 100 on photoshop so if you guys see this anywhere else it's fake it's copyrighted it's not it's not theirs it's mine but uh, here we go that should be seven and uh eight is over here so yeah guys um it's hidden in this water so i think i'm gonna show you guys the chart now i should be cutting to it now and uh here we are this is the exit to the uh fortress so let's get to it Okay guys, so these are all the orbs in the game. 286 total, but the mission areas have 94. That means by doing the mission progress, um, by progressing through the mission areas, you're gonna be getting 94. So we're gonna do those first. So let's take a look at that. And uh, the reason why I wanna do that is because that's the, like the storyline of this game. Now, we just finished the fortress. These are each area in the game. Each area is in the game. And uh, one area you can't get Precursor orbs back if you missed them. So uh, right now we got the fortress done, but uh, let's continue on with the game, guys. We'll continue on this later. Uh, let's go. We're free, Jack! Thanks to me. Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? We'll get that Baron Praxis guy, all right. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Eh, uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Haven City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. 
Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Okay guys, now you want to take out every one of these Crimson Guards. It's really cool how these guys are just charging you. And all of a sudden you go Dark Jack. What? The Dark pro the dark Jack Project worked? Now we're going to take out each one of these guys and you go into complete Buck Wild Beast mode on these guys. It's really cool how he auto locks and just starts slashing across them. If this game was like God of War where it had blood and gore, oh my goodness. That was cool! Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. All right, now, we finally get into the mode of the game where I really like is the driving. Um, now, in the future, all of these are zoomers that have been heavily upgraded, and uh, they have a lot of... Uh, abilities now you don't need power cells or anything to power them it's really cool you can jump from one to another and uh, they have really nice fluid controls now with these zoomers you can switch between going into, like into this area or the lower area by changing hover zones like this but um the really cool things with this thing is that if you hit a guard or somebody they'll all start chasing you like you'll be wanted like on the most wanted list and all of these guards are going to try to kill you and stuff but you can actually start crashing into vehicles. It's really cool. What you want to do is head over here, and we're going to look for Torn. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, look at Chick. She's kind of hot. Oh, there he is. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Tor sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for this city. You know, big in the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. Alright guys, now we have to head to Dead Town. Now, I won't really be showing us too much of the driving towards mission aspect of this game because it's really kind of tedious and annoying when you guys are watching it. It's more fun when you're doing, um, actually playing it. I know, doing it, but uh, you want to actually like drive it for yourself. It's really cool. And um, I'm only going to show you guys like this once where I'm driving to the objective to show you guys where it is in the city. But any other time I have to go back here, I'm just going to cut ahead. And that's just to save time and I can upload more content for you guys. But uh, if you guys are liking this over, please leave me a like. It's really helping my channel grow. And I really, I really appreciate it. Whoa, I crashed into a Crimson Guard. Oh. Usually when you crash into a Crimson Guard, they'll start chasing you and they'll try to kill you, but it's it's pretty cool. I crashed into him, but my vehicle's about to explode, so we better get off of this thing. Now, um, each vehicle actually has like a different amount of damage capacity you can take and take off time. It's really cool how they put that much polish into the game. But uh, right here, one of the newest enemies in this game. They're called the Goobers. They only take one hit, but they're actually really fast characters. Um, they can really take out one hit, um, health pit from you guys, and uh, one hit to them will pretty much kill them. They're not really that hard to kill, and these guys, I forgot their name. I believe they're called uh, Jank Tooths or something. I'm not going to really overload you guys with the bios right now because I'm not sure if you guys like them, if you guys dislike them, if they're annoying, but uh, I'll see. If you guys like them in the comments, just tell me right now, and um, I'll be uh, adding more to the game, but uh, we're going to head over here. And uh, this place actually has a lot of meaning to it. I really wondered what the hell this place had anything to do with the game. But you guys are going to see later on. It's really crazy. And we're going to head over here. And all of this is Dark Eco we're picking up after killing each one. 
Now, as you can see on the bottom left-hand side, oh, I knocked the guy off, damn it. Uh, usually when you knock an enemy off, like, I'm, like, I can't really tell you what the monster is right now, but if you knock an enemy off, usually whatever they drop should come back up, unless it's Dark Eco. Um, but you can see on the bottom left, I'm building up Dark Eco, and when you get the full bar maxed out, you can use Dark Jack for a bit of time, and right here, jumping on these bridges, this place is actually falling apart. That's how cool this is, so you're not safe. Watch where you're jumping, and, whoa, pretty close there. Um... It's actually pretty hard for some people, and some of these rocks are kind of colored, so that way it looks like you can fall off of them, and some aren't. So it's pretty tricky. Now, heading around here is another set of these traps, I believe. Look at this. Oh, I'm going right through this. This is crazy. But uh, we're going to head up here, and this is the last time you're ever going to see this in a Jack Next game, as far as I believe. But if you guys like this episode, please leave a like. This has been the Cobbism Out. Peace. I guess you guys are in.